What up, everybody? Welcome to Chop and Brew 3-Minute Beer Review. This is a cider edition of 3-Minute Beer Review, and on top of that, it's a smoked cider edition of 3-Minute Beer Review. Quick backstory, a, a fan, Kyle Tupper from Washington, sent us this beverage, and he's he made it last fall, fall of 2020, after, sadly, a wildfire season, uh, in the Pacific Northwest, and as they were pressing these apples to get the fresh pressed cider, they kind of made a dark joke about, oh, I wonder if this will be a smoked cider because of the apples bringing in some of the smoke from the air, which put off a light bulb, bing, over Kyle's head. He was like, well, what would a smoked cider be like? So he got four and a half gallons of this fresh pressed cider, took it home, fermented it from 1044 to uh, one, um, so 5.78%. Uh, I'm going to post the recipe because he did a lot of like additions of brewing chems, uh, pectic enzyme, nutrients. Basically said he overflowed the carboy because fermentation was so aggressive and speedy. Racked to a bucket and he tasted the cider. And at this point he says, I'll unveil the secret if you don't, if you don't mind a spoiler. So what he did for his cider to get the smoked element is he added Lapsang Suchong tea. And I don't know if you know that tea. It's very smoky, but it's also very unique because I believe it's um, dried or cured or infused either way with pine wood smoke, which is a smoke that you usually hear like is not advisable for smoking things like food or anything you're going to ingest. So, but it's an awesome tea. If you, Love barbecue, you should try this tea in the middle of your day and you will feel like you're having a nice barbecue snack. The point is, Kyle took Lapsang Suchong, one ounce, put it in one quart of cider and basically cold steeped it in a jar in his fridge, uh, I believe for a day, for three days. Then he added that smoky cider into the larger batch, stabilized it. He said after experimenting with sweetening, he decided to add another half ounce of the tea added that directly to the larger batch in a mesh bag, sweetened with one pound of light brown sugar and one can of apple concentrate. And it's just got this lovely, huge burst of apple, even still. I mean, this thing's coming up on a year, honestly. In a couple of months, this will be a year old. And it's still got this smoky aroma intact. In Kyle's opinion, the first aroma is a huge blast of pipe smoke followed by faint aromas of classic cider. Sweet and smoky are the main, char main characteristics of that first sip, and I agree. Even before you drink it, you smell this kind of just waft. It's not campfire smoke, though. It's a very unique, different kind of smoke. At the second smell and drink, smoke aromas and flavors are a little more subtle. Flavors of classic cider are coming through. I agree, we're getting more like acidic, tart, yet sweet, kind of not apple saucy, but like apple crisp. Apples, bold, ripe, fall apple flavor, he says, toffee and black tea. Lapsang Su Chong is a pine dried, pine smoke dried black tea, so that makes sense. As you drink, the sweetness fades and the brighter apple flavors come through. He says he thinks it's pretty good, but he'd like to get a more barbecue like smoke character into this cider. So, for that, Kyle, I would just suggest, and I'm no smoke, beer, or beverage expert, but Go for um, maybe adding uh, smoked, like, I don't know how you would do this. Maybe you could smoke those apples that you press over cherry, mesquite, hickory, something that's a little more in that classic barbecue flavor. Um, there's probably other, like, beechwood smoked malt you could put a little in and make, like, a graph kind of thing. But this is an awesome way to infuse smoke into a cider, which I had never thought about. Put a smoked tea into it and Elsa and I have been having a lot of smoked beers all summer I love the smoked beers Elsa's not a huge fan so she was like this this is the amount of smoke I've been looking for especially with that balance of the sweetness of the apple cider the apple juice the apple concentrate it's just a wonderful beverage it's got us thinking about fall the first thing we did once we kind of started sipping on it is we were like, man, it is really close to September and October. It's actually time to start thinking about things like this. Fall time, apple cider, 
hard cider, campfires, bonfires. So Kyle, this was a real treat. I really appreciate it. We're going to put Kyle's recipe and his notes up so anybody out there can try it. Also check out the Chop and Brew episode, Home Brewing with Tea, with our homegirl Jess Hanley. She dropped a lot of knowledge. I actually think one of those might have been Lap Sing Suchong, now that I think about it. But anyway, she's got great suggestions on how to use tea uh, in beer, specifically. But cider is a super cool thing to mess with it. Check out our Roush Graph episode. And I will be making this this fall, brother, because you done got Elsa hooked. So, chop for chop, smoke for smoke. Lap sang for Su Chong. Do it.